Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Night News. I'm Joe Borg, and this is going to be a quick video on the Phantoms' last road game of the year. As unfortunately, of course, last night with the loss, our Phantoms were eliminated from playoff contention. But guess what? Pat Nagel didn't care as he still played his behind off and played a fantastic game in net, getting 42 saves to the 20 shots of the Phantoms as the Phantoms still won 2 nothing because of first star Patty. Nagel, who has been brilliant with the Reading Royals during his tenure down there this year and his entire ECHL career, one of the best all-time goaltenders in that league, and has been fantastic for the Lehigh Valley Phantoms, minus a couple games after his Olympic return, which made a heck of a lot of sense because he didn't play any hockey while in China. So, obviously that made sense. It took him a little bit to get back to his groove. But since he got back to his groove, he has been money Nagel again and has been on fire. And he is the first star with the 42 saves. And two, one on Clark, the other on former Phantom, Vecchioni, as he was able to rob two with absolutely spectacular glove saves. And then he made other great kicking pad saves. He controls rebounds very well. He seems very calm, cool, collected. That's what's made him one of the best ECHL grades. And fortunately uh, for him, which is fantastic to see, finally has gave him more extended AHL time. Of course, injuries has helped out with that. But hey, you still got to take advantage of the opportunity at the next level. And that is what Pat Nagel was able to do this year with the Lehigh Valley Phantoms. Now, when it comes to everyone else <clears throat> uh, in this game, Linus Sandine with his beautiful um, snapshot that he was able to get uh, on his goal for the second goal. And he was able to get the puck in the slot and then snap it on net. That's a beautiful shot. He's such an instinctive, smart player on the ice. I feel like he can still be a bottom sixer in the NHL. The Phantoms have kind of just failed to develop him thus far and haven't put him in the best spots for success. Um, but I do think if he stays in the organization or stays overseas... Uh, whether it's with the Flyers or not, is and overseas meaning here in North America since he started obviously in his homeland. Um, if he stays here and doesn't go back to his homeland to play, I think he has a chance to be a good NHL because he's such a smart and stick to play. He's also just been banged up and I think also hasn't got the opportunity to play with the topper guys as much that he's had lately. And then also, of course, the other goal, Cooper Zek finally getting his first of the season. I thought Zek has actually been a solid defenseman using his skating speed growing. I think he's age 23 now, so he's going to be growing into his 24-25 season, which is as you enter your prime years in about any league, I kind of consider 24-25, when you first start entering those prime years, excuse me. And Zek's been solid this year. He's been a very smart player on the ice. He's made mistakes, a young player mistakes, but you expect that from a young player. So I think he's a player that they could have as a steel potential guy that can be a solid depth guy uh, when you need a guy to come up and play the left side for a couple games for the Philadelphia Flyers in the future and then be a very good defenseman for the Lehigh Valley Phantoms, and we'll see if he can be more than that. So he's the third star. Linus Sandin's the second star because I thought Sandin uh, played very good overall. I thought Matthew Strom continues to play very good as the 4C. Logan Day continues to impress mightily out there. Gerard, the former Royal as well, continues to look very good. Um, and then Pat Nagel, the Royals standout and ECHL standout, looked fantastic tonight, leading the Phantoms to a 2 to nothing win. And, of course, the Captain Cal, Riley and Wilson and others always look good while they're out there. And then Isaac Ratcliffe continues to close out his season with a bang, as I think he's the guy that will make the Flyers out of the jump next season. But everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day. This has been the latest edition of the Ghostly Take. Please make sure to like and subscribe down below. Help us grow to 230 by the end of the month. Really appreciate you guys' love and support. The Phantoms might be out of the playoffs, but they don't care as Pat Nagel still was able to capture a 42 safe shutout. By that, I mean they don't care enough that they still compete where the Flyers lately have competed better with the youngsters up, but obviously it took them until guys that still have to prove themselves and play for their playing weight in the future came up to be able to show more competitive edge with the Phantoms at least even being mediocre this year have showed competitive edge all season and I gotta hit give them an A plus hats off for that. Peace everybody, stay safe, please and subscribe down below. Really appreciate you guys love and support this for Go Phantoms. Let's win the rest of these games this season. Peace out everybody.